Oh, what's up guys, Cheese here, and welcome to another special edition of Ark Survival Evolved Genesis 2. That's right, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about this amazing new thing, the Tech Bow. It is super duper cool. It fires all sorts of different arrows and does all sorts of cool stuff. We're going to talk about this thing. I'm going to tell you guys how you make it, what level you get it, what kind of stuff it can do. So if you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor and... Flex on that like button. Yeah, I still don't have my archer flexing out. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this is the Genesis 2 tech bow. It looks super duper cool. If you go into your Ingrams and you look at bows, it is craftable at level 116, and it's not really that expensive. 75 cementing paste, 100 crystal, 60 element. 200 metal ingots or polymer 225 um you can actually get these out of drops right now some people on my server have been lucky enough to get them at a much lower level which is really cool they run on element shards and each of the um different types of arrows uses a different type i mean a different amount of shards so the amounts as follows are regular arrows metal arrows cost five element shards flame arrows cost 10 element shards Trank arrows are 20 element shards, and explosive arrows are 80 element shards. So to change the amount, the uh, type of arrows you're using, you push R, hold down R, it's your reload button on console, whatever the reload button is, and then you can choose between trank arrows, flame arrows, metal arrows, explosive arrows, and then you can set the firing mode. Uh, it's pretty cool because each time you change the arrows, it changes the color of the bow, which is pretty neat. So the flame arrows is this color, the Trank Arrows changes it crazy green, which is cool. Like, it looks really, really neat. Very, very cool. Now, there is this mode here. Now, as far as I can tell, there's Set Firing Mode Instant and Set Firing Mode Projectile. Now, as far as I can tell, I don't see any reason to ever use Projectile. Now, as far as I can tell, they use the same damage. Um, just the Projectile has a much slower traveling arrow. It's almost like hit scan versus projectile guns in video games. So it's very strange to me that this would be an option as I don't know why you would ever want it to not be on insta hit and have just hit scan arrows where they just, you know, laser like that. They do the exact same amount of damage. They use the exact same amount of resources to fire. So to be completely honest, I'm not really exactly sure why you would ever put it on projectile mode if you know why you would put it on projectile mode comment down below because i've spent a good amount of time playing with this bow this morning and i cannot figure out why you would want to do that um as i said it fires all the different kinds of arrows trank arrows uh let's try it underwater flaming it no oh, uh what do we got here you can fire flame arrows underwater but they just work like regular arrows it doesn't look like they really cause the thing to cause on fire but you can use it underwater uh, let's change to Trank Arrows. Can we Trank out an Otter? Get wrecked, Otter. Mm, pow. Pow. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Otter. I'm sorry. It's, it was you or me. He was coming at me. You guys saw that. I had, I had to put that Otter down. He was coming at me. So you can use it underwater. It doesn't look like the Flame Arrows work. Let's try the Explosive Arrows underwater. I'm going to assume these will work. If you actually hit the target. Oh, yeah, they do. those definitely work. Very, very cool. Uh, something else that you can do. Um, you can also hop onto your tech hover sail or any of your dinos that allow you to shoot off the back. And you can pull it out and you can shoot off there as well. You can uh, fly around on your hover sail, shooting arrows. Hold down R while you're flying and you can change them. The metal arrows look really cool in the blue. So as you can see, it does the same amount of damage. Uh, it also uses the... Uh, same amount of uh, element shards. So I really, I really still don't understand exactly what the projectile mode is for. Um, it obviously makes it much more challenging to hit your shots with the slow moving projectile. So maybe see like, look how long it takes to get there in the projectile mode. But if you put it on instant hit, it makes it much easier to hit things. It just like, it gets like, it basically goes instantly there. So. I'm not sure why you would ever want to put it on projectile mode. But yeah, that's basically everything you know about the Tecbo. Super duper cool new thing. It looks really awesome. It's really fun to play with. You don't have to carry different kinds of arrows if you want dam. You know, you don't need it now a trank gun and also a, a damage gun or a, you know, a trank, a trank crossbow and a damage crossbow. 
you can just have all in one and fly around and change on the fly super duper fun not that expensive to use not that expensive to make really really neat oh man get wrecked oh get wrecked raptor <laughs> just doing this is quite fun you can kind of cruise around on your hover sail and sh explode a bunch of raptors man they, they added a lot of really fun stuff to this uh, let's go all right so if you guys like this video please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button yeah and for more daily video game awesomeness man it would have been epic if i had something to shoot there don't forget to subscribe oh we hit it uh wait well we'll fix that in post boom look at that we hit it first try let's go we out here i love you guys i'll see you guys next time cheese out oh god striders striders please